Hello there, Shasna Tramia here. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to upload confidence intervals of mains. Now, it's, it's not uh, sufficient enough if you just do, for example, one way ANOVA where you analyze a response versus a group variable uh, to check out how the different means of the groups behave. For example, here after running this, this is the output that I have for uh, one way ANOVA, and you can see different groups and the different means. But this cannot, uh, to the best, uh, describe how these means behave. Now, this was a study conducted way back to investigate how the level of administered shock changes with different levels of distractions. Now what we have here, these variables are different groups of distractions. So we are going to use a plot of confidence intervals to graphically represent this output. So what I do is I come to my command window and I type ci plot. Then of course I will add these different groups and after that I will go on to uh, specify the Y line. Uh, the Y line shows a grand mean which is here it's uh, about 0 0.7 so I'll, I'll continue and add uh, Y line and then in brackets I'll specify 0 0.7 and of course I love using this scheme uh, to change the color of the graph and then I'll go on to run this. When I run this command you can realize that now you can uh, aptly get to understand how the level of diminished shock are changes with different levels of destruction. For example, using this graph, you can um, ascertain that uh, as the level of destruction increases, uh, the level of administered shock reduces up to some point and then increases once again. Uh, to catch more of these videos, you can go to my YouTube channel and then subscribe. Chelsea once again, uh, thank you.